I got into the water with a friend of mine, and then I was in this giant kelp forest. I thought, oh wow, this is just magnificent. And as I was sitting in there, this large torpedo ray, these electric rays, swam right over my head. And then I saw these big giant abalone that occur in California, and these huge, you know, sort of mega wrasses. And I just thought that was the most wonderful dive I ever had in my life. When we were children, what was on TV was Jacques Cousteau, and I always thought diving was pretty exotic. It sort of sparked an interest in diving, and I traveled and worked in the Pacific Islands, did a lot of diving there, and I just decided that's where I wanted to spend my career. So I started out on hardcore fisheries research, looking at stock assessments of the power abalone fishery in New Zealand. Then I segued into looking at uh, environmental impacts of uh, aquaculture. But I've always been interested in kelp forests. When you get offshore on 10, 15, 20 meters of water, some of these big kelp forests uh, will grow to the sea surface from that. So it's dark under them. And you're swimming through stalks of plants. It's like going through the middle level of a beach forest, if you like, just sort of floating along. There's fishes arrayed through the water column and light flecks coming through, and it's a, quite a beautiful environment, and you can get a bit enraptured by it. When you lose the kelp, you lose its primary production, you lose its detrital output, which then feeds through the ecosystem, and all those little things in the food chain that make uh, uh, the coastal zone such a wonderful place to be. We had several students working in the estuary looking at primary production and how estuaries sort of work. After the earthquake, I was driving along Sumner, and I see all these mounds in the estuary, and I'd never seen anything like it before. So we ran out into the estuary and saw all these huge sediment mounds there. So this liquefaction that occurred right throughout Christchurch um, became a really dominant feature in the estuary. and actually formed a cap over much of the estuary, and in many ways improved estuarine health. It's actually a, a cleaner estuary than it was a few years ago. Uh, so we followed a lot of that through and then we also uh, helped with some of the things upstream because one of my other programs has to do with white bait and rehabilitation of uh, the spawning habitat. If my career has shown anything, it's that there are opportunities out there, but you have to be able to see those opportunities. But the underlying themes are all the same. There are all these beautiful environments that we have and we want them to maintain that way. We have to figure out how people can work in the environment and recreate in the environment and enjoy it and still maintain the things that make that environment function. I think it's our obligation to try to do something positive and within our own capabilities and interests and uh, so that's what I try to do.